This might be one of the best worst releases of the year. Like it just, it's gonna be one of them shoes. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Before we talk about the shoes, look at this in box. This is amazing. However, the contents inside are what really matters. And that's where I'm just kind of like, man, I think they blew it. But that's just my first initial impression uh, right off the bat. Hopefully you don't click off the video. We keep watching, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, these guys right here are the uh, NBA Jam edition of uh, Converse BB Jets. I got initially excited when I opened the box. So I was like, oh, sh tech sheet. Just kidding. They're just trying to promote the rest of the shoes in the NBA Jam lineup. That's what marketing is for. Like that's what actual ads are for. When you buy the product, you shouldn't get an ad with it. Like Hulu. Like I paid for Hulu and guess what I get in that ads. No. We could upgrade our Hulu. No. <laughs> No, I don't care how much or how little you pay. There should never be an ad in there if I'm paying for the service. That's like saying when we paid for cable. No, because you're not paying per channel. Mm. You're paying for the overall usage of cable that they, as the cable company, have got a lock on as far as like, hey, if you want your channel, because there's free channels yeah. called Basic Cable. And those are free. You can watch those with an antenna and there's ads on those channels because that's how those companies keep the lights on, right? Our content is free. The ads keep the lights on. I'm paying for Hulu. I'm gonna argue for Hulu that Hulu is giving us a service of getting those channels that we want no, for Hulu, cheaper. Hulu is the channel. No, Hulu is yes, it aggregating is. other channels for us. If it's for licensing other channels, from other networks yes. that are on cable mm -hmm. then maybe but no at the end of the day because <laughs> Hulu is owned by Disney I think you've been okay. spoiled by Netflix and hell no man I pay for Netflix actually so I thought that this was a tech breakdown that's what it should have been and it is not what it actually is they're trying to push the other shoes in the line I'm going to tell you right now if you're looking for a Converse basketball shoe that's the one you want okay it's just the BB right Evo Evo sorry that's the one that you're going to want to get that thing was designed by a legend from Nike basketball Eric Avar he's uh the guy that designed the majority of the Kobe shoes a lot of the Alpha Project shoes the shoe itself is very much like a Kobe like the Kobe NXT 8360 or something like that, the Flyknit shoe. It's just like that, but a little bit different. It's a good shoe. I like those. What happened between that shoe and this shoe? Do you see the shape of this? Maybe that shoe is inside of that shoe. I think it is. I think this shoe ate the other shoe. I didn't do that. So the outsole is probably the only part that I am slightly confident in. And even by then, I just mean barely, because this doesn't feel like it's going to grip anything. All of the lines are connected, they're flat. There's not a lot of movement to them. I think this might be a great outdoor option, uh, especially with longevity purposes. This kind of outsole usually wears a little bit more, uh, what would you call it? Like Evenly? Yeah, it wears much more evenly than like a peaked traction or an aggressive traction that's like protruding out of the sole. This actually reminds me a lot of back in the day type of traction or you guys might not know what this is but there was a brand started by Steven Jackson and Al Harrington back when they were Warriors. Protégé. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Protégé. I had a few of those. those were, I think that those are pretty cool. They were sold at uh, like Kmart and Sears. That's what this outsole reminds me of which is it's not great. I, I'm not saying that it's going to perform poorly. I'm probably saying that I, I doubt that I'm going to take these out for a spin to try them that's how bad th these are i just really am like what the f is this the whole thing not just this it's the whole thing now the cushion seems to be the one thing that might be it's like saving grace and it's because it's Nike's tech, which I don't like in the first place. I understand they bought Converse, they own Converse, much like Jordan Brand, so they're gonna throw their tech into it. I get it, but you know, Converse is one of the few brands that actually has its own history and its own heritage. It's one of the original shoe companies, you know what I mean? And I just feel like they're treating it the way that Adidas treated Reebok, and I'm just like, guys, come on. This brand has a lot of heritage in there with great 
including their own React, the original React, React Juice. Now we don't have any React in this, instead of it's just EVA, and then the heel and forefoot we have Zoom Air. We actually have a very weird shaped Zoom Air in the heel. It's a little tiny hex unit. Why it's back there, I don't know. Like you might as well have just not even put it in there. And then in the forefoot, we have a traditional Zoom unit that's you know encompassing the forefoot, uh, something that you would see in a Jordan 13 or 14 retro. I can't feel any of it because the shoe is so and stiff. This is just one of them shoes where every once in a while one comes out and I really just kind of like lay into it because of how poorly it was made and this just is it just this just happens to be it. I'm sorry. They also have this thing what they call the Converse Speed Plate. It's a TPU that I'm aware of. It could be made out of like a P-Bax which would make more sense but for right now I'm just going to call it TPU just because it feels like plastic but uh, it's a really weird shape. I'll show a little diagram somewhere we normally put it on this side and it, it basically is the main reason why the shoe is so stiff other than the clunky thick midsole. I believe it's supposed to act like a spring plate, like what they would put in, you know, the Jordan 11s, the 12s, some of the early Wade models like the one and the two, but it just doesn't feel great right now. Obviously you'll probably want to run around and stuff like that. They say that this shoe is made for speed and quick changes of direction, but I think the fit totally negates that. So we'll see how it goes. Now the materials are also a disappointment. Um, we have just a bunch of cheap stuff, man. It's like canvas on this side. This is like a weird ribbed mesh. Uh, this is just cheap ass mesh, like something that you would use as the collar sock liner or maybe the tongue. And then they used what looks like Nike's torch material on the tongue, which I love, that was used on the Kobe 5s. Why is it here? I mean, why isn't it on like a good shoe? I don't know, like I just feel like you can get a budget Nike or even a clearance Nike over at the Nike factory store and it would perform better than this. These make me sad, that's what's happening. <sighs> The eyelets are one of the more interesting things. They give you multiple options. So at the forefoot, you have traditional kind of nylon cables. They are stitched in heavily. Does that mean it's gonna make them more durable? I don't know. But on the way up, we actually have that. I still don't know what they call this thing. It's just a big rope. It's like a fly wire piece, but they like stitch it in every once in a while. However, there's the alternate actual eyelets, which they have like heat welded TPU panels to like the fuse stuff. They've used that as the holes other than the top ones, which are actual grommets. And I think that's pretty cool. So I guess give it that where you know you have multiple lace options you can do it this way which is how they came they came through the actual eyelets if you wanted something different you can lace them up the other way which is through the little laces i don't know if the laces are long enough to go through both of them but you could try it i'm not sure either way you have multiple options you got a little bit of a variety there so i think that that's probably like the neatest thing that they did to the shoe and yeah so you got that. I also do like the collar. It's like got like that little suction booty right there. It feels nice on foot. It wraps around the foot and the Achilles area pretty nicely. So I dig that as well. Now, as far as the fit is concerned on the Converse website, converse.com on this particular shoes product page, it says that they fit a half a size small. They're wrong. Okay. I went true to size on accident. I read the thing afterwards and I was like, they do fit in my true size. However, this toe, I think they use the Air Monarch last. They are wide as They look wide. They are so bubbly that like I can probably wear an air cast and still fit my foot in here. Like this crazy. So you might want to go down half a size. So they might fit a half a size large. I would not go up a half a size. That's for damn sure. These are bubbly okay like they are very round in the front like whose foot is this big like that thick mine <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that big. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is crazy. Wide footers might love this, okay? They might. It might be so awkwardly shaped, though, that even they don't like it. I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you're a wide footer and stuff. The way that they present the shoe is like, for quick players and stuff like that. I'm like, these feel so chunky and so clunky that there's no way that this is for quick players. Like, who did you have test this? I bet you I know who. I bet you it was Draymond. No shots fired at Draymond, I love the guy, but like, he's not the quickest guy on the court. You know what I mean? He is with that mouth. This is true, and so are you. <laughs> yeah, so were you, that was very fast. I didn't even cut right there. Ooh, that was, that sounded feisty. You reading comments lately? No, the comments have loved me lately, so oh, okay. thanks guys. Anyways, let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Uh, don't be surprised if you don't see a performance review on these, at least not from me, maybe from someone else, but not from me. I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not committing to this one. I try with some of them. This is just not, I'm not going to do it with these. These are awful. Anyways, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Until next time, guys, have a good one.